So I had a quite profound, deep, intense experience with the Lord this week. And um, he instructed me to share part of it with you. I was uh, had been listening to some Arthur Burke. If you don't know who Arthur Burke is, I suggest you find out. He has um, challenged me to grow by leaps and bounds, or uh, um, lurches, as he says, um, over the last few years that have absolutely astounded me. He has a lot of free stuff on YouTube, and go check him out. He has a lot of products you can buy on his website, which is Sapphire Leadership Group. He uh, It's not a ministry. It is a business. He'll tell you that. Anyway, um, he was teaching this past week on an Antichrist spirit. And interesting enough, I had had a dream the night before, two nights before, about a time in my life um, that, you know, I thought I had dealt with and repented of and everything else. Anyway, it was a time in my life, one of only two that I can really remember where I actually said no to God. And... um, but this one, uh, I think, was the first time that I ever did. And I was in a relationship, a new relationship with a man, and the Lord just spoke to me very, very clearly. It was time to leave. And in my spirit, I went just, no, <laughs> no, I don't want to. And um, I did wind up leaving probably a month or six weeks later. By that time, it was too late. Um, and and I really wanted out of the relationship at that time. By that time, and the Lord, of course, was right. But by that time, I didn't know it, but I was pregnant. So my saying no to the Lord totally changed the course of my life. We don't, you know, as Aslan says in the Chronicles of Narnia, we will never know what might have been <clears throat> or what was in the heart of the Lord. But what the Lord showed me was that I gave him a very adamant no. And I hadn't been saved very long, maybe only, it's a little over a year, maybe a year and three or four months. Um, But still, I was an adamant no. And what the Lord showed me is that no actually gave entrance to an Antichrist spirit. And we all know, I mean, I'm not talking about the Antichrist. There's a lot of, you know, it's like a class of demonic things, the Antichrist spirit. And that Antichrist spirit actually keeps you at times from hearing God, from not knowing if it's God or not. And it makes it easier to say no to the Lord again. So I would just challenge you to ask the Lord to show you, um, you know, the times that you have said no to him and uh, and ask him to deliver you from that antichrist spirit if if you did ever say no and and you and your generations and all your offspring after you as well and you might even ask him to show you where i mean there might be someone in the generations back that actually said no to god um, that was another thing arthur talked about you know uh, in a preceding thing. Anyway, I just wanted to encourage you that you might want the Lord to show you a place where you actually said no to God and um, allowed that to come in. And so it makes it easier even now to not know if something's God, uh, to not hear Him as well as you should, and uh, and therefore not live. Uh, has much in the blessing as he wants you to.